Hi, I'm Kaz Grabowski, and I did my research project on Kroger. Um, the company was started by Barney Kroger. He started the company in 1883, and he only had $372 that he used to start a grocery store on 66 Pearl Street in Cincinnati. Um, the company is not just a grocery store. Uh, the company has 200 or 2,778 mar supermarkets and multi-department stores in 35 states across the U.S. And they are composed of four different types of uh, store formulas that include combination stores, multi-department stores, um, marketplace stores, and price impact warehouse stores. As a whole company, Mark, or Kroger made uh, $109.8 billion in the year of 2015. Um, as it says there, Kroger can fill your car up. Uh, Kroger is not just a grocery store anymore. They have expanded their market reach uh, with 1,387 gas stations across 31 different states in the U.S. Um, in 2015, they made $14.8 million in fuel sales. And in 2006, Kroger had 600 fueling stations across uh, the U.S. that were also linked with their supermarkets. Um, Kroger has made uh, use of their technology to their advantage, and um, they have made big technology advancements with their grocery distribution. They usually get grocery items off a truck, and they have a worker who takes a machine that has a pallet, or takes a machine that can slide under a pallet and they go drive it over to the truck, they get it under the pallet, they take it off and they go place it in storage. And um, that has not, that's been uh, dismissed because now they have an automated system that takes them and stores them by order of which they should be used instead of having a worker do it. And they also have machines that depalletize the pallets so they are broken down and they can be stored easier. And they also have a machine that rebuilds them up so they can be used again for uh, further use. This is a uh, figure that shows the Kroger family of grocery brands. And there's some big ones like Harris Teeter um, quality food centers and uh, Dylan's is a big uh, one that they uh, have done business with. These are just all different food distribution places. Uh, Kroger against the competition. Uh, Kroger has um, four, is in the top four largest grocery retailers who among, who among our uh, Walmart Publix and Safeway, and they account for 36% of the total grocery uh, sales in 2013. Walmart holds the number one spot, but Kroger is second. Uh, Kroger acquired the second spot by um, uh, getting together with Harris Teeter, which is a store chain brand who quarters, or whose headquarters are in North Carolina. Um, this happened in the middle of the 2013 year. Kroger has meddled in chair of work as well. Um, they partnered with Feeding America and they are trying to move, uh, further the movement to end world hunger. Um, Kroger has donated 28 million pounds of food to feed the hungry and were, and were awarded the prestigious Hunger Relief Award. Kroger has even gone farther to expand their uh, Grocery Alliance program, which would allow their um, local retailers to uh, be more involved in the community with uh, spreading the awareness of hunger relief. Um, Kroger has developed into a diverse company in summary, um, but it had some it had some faults, and and one of them was in, during the Great Depression and the World War times during the 1930s and 40s. Um, this was the slowest production Kroger has ever had, but they have now moved on since then. And in the 1960s, they had started acquiring store chains in the South, like Texas and Kansas, and then moved out West uh, to California. And during the 1980s, Kroger uh, started doing mergers with uh, different companies. And one of the big ones that they did was Dylan's, that as I mentioned before, um, and that's another type of food store chain. Um, and, to, and 
they have made uh, big moves to stay up with their business trends. They uh, have, in 2006, they started selling E85 ethanol uh, gas, which is 85% uh, gas and 15% corn, like renewable gas. And um, they started this and try this Ohio, and they're trying to reach the new audience of a more eco-friendly driving community. And they have also extended this to Texas and are looking to develop it more in other states and across the country. Um, they show that they care. Uh, in 1993, they had an extension that added on to the 1991 through 1995 collective bargaining agreement. Uh, the extension would give 25 cent annual rate or uh, wage or wage raises increase for the department heads and the clerks at the top of their wage promotion or prog progression. It also goes into bonuses and uh, and many other stuff. So, uh, in summary, Kroger is a successful Fortune 500 company that will continue to flourish throughout the years to come. I wanted to look into Kroger compared to the competition, and it seems that they do pretty well. Um, they are second to Walmart, but I think that since they are in the gasoline business, that they will... Um, be gaining on the competition as as the years come on and i do think that they stand out with their charity work by donating so much and have stayed up with the game of technologies and using that for their business to become the best that they can be and that's why i think kroger is a standard when it comes to being a retail company uh does anyone have any questions i do all right what's your question uh what's your favorite product kroger has to offer my favorite product that Kroger has to offer is definitely their chocolate milk. It's probably the biggest reason that I did this project because I will buy two gallons of it every time I go. So it's my favorite. I agree. <laughs>